Money, luxury life, prestigious life in society and many other dreams become part of human life as they grow. Everybody want to achieve these targets in his life, but it is not possible to do so, by the laws of nature. Then people start to violate laws, and the violation ends behind walls of jail. Our today's story is also about a similar character, who started his life as a simple painter. Then his greed pushed him to earn some more money, and he started to drive an auto in Tamil Nadu. This became the part of his identity till the end of his life behind the jail bars. He was known as Auto Shine Car. A story that left India shell shocked. Auto Shine Car converted the roads of Madras into hell in just within six months. He used to live in a quiet village situated on the banks of the sea in Madras. At that time, Madras used to be the city of dreams. Auto Shine Car, who loved dance, films, and painting, soon felt that Madras is the city to fulfill his dreams. At the same time, Madras was the hub of Coolywood. In early decade of 80, auto rickshaws became number one transport for carrying illegal liquors because autos could run on the roads without any restriction on the streets. Gauri Shankar had now become a smuggler of liquor. He decided to do something more gruesome and started using his autos for savouries of young women exploited in the burgeoning flesh trade then. This was only his greed that pushed him every time one step more towards the criminal world. With the help of his younger brother Mohan, his brother-in-law Eldon and trusted accomplices Shivaji, Jayavlu, Rajaraman, Ravi, Palani and Paramasivam among others, Shankar soon established himself as the uncrowned king of all nefarious activities in Tiruvannamia. He ran prostitution dens from a line of huts in Periyanagar as well as from a lodge on Elbi Road with the connivance of the police. Shankar's influence peaked in the mid-1980s and lasted just a couple of years until his murders were exposed. In 1988, there was disappearance of nine girls from Thiruvanmiya and a complaint was made to the police. The police, who had full knowledge of Shankar's exploits, got involved in the matter. All the girls were working in the sex racket and they run away from home. But when the family members of the girls continued to deny this allegation, then the police looked into the matter. A young woman Lalitha, was Shankar's officially first victim. She ran away with Sudolai Mathu, one of his confidants. Auto Shankar started searching for her like crazy. When Shankar reached her, he brought Lalitha and her lover back to the city of Beriar. Lalitha was beaten to death and her lover Sudolai Mathu, was set on fire. Sudolai Mathu, remains were packed in a blanket and disposed in the Bay of Bengal. Lalita's body was found after one and a half years. One day, Mohan, not his younger brother, Sampath and Govindaraj picked up a quarry with Shankar as they they attempted to take away one of Shankar's women from the LB Road Lodge. The three were beaten to death and their bodies were buried on a small plot in Periyanagar. Auto Shankar was the man whom all was afraid of. Gauri Shankar was arrested by the police. On June 27, 1988, Hole got to know about Auto Shankar and its criminal activities. In 1989 following the governor's direction to Jeffer Ali, Deputy Inspector General of Police, Chennai Range, a new team of policemen was formed. Once Shankar's accomplices were rounded up and interrogated, they spoke about each of the murders and how they had disposed of the bodies. The unearthing in 1988 of the bodies of Lalitha and the three men created a sensation among the residents. After Shankar's arrest, the policeman made a thorough recovery of his property and found his diary which had photos of policemen of different ranks posing with him. Many policemen who had served in Tiruvnmir were immediately suspended, 
while a third in officer of the rank of a deputy superintendent was sent on long leave and later suspended. Shankar and his men were interrogated at Palavaram police station before they were transferred to Chennai Central Prison, from where Shankar made a daring escape with the help of a woman. He was subsequently tracked down at Clasteel City, Adisha, and brought back and subsequently hanged at Salem Prison along with Eldon and Shivaji. Shankar got convicted of many murders and was hanged to death in Salem Prison in 1995 along with Eldon and Shivaji. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more thrilling stories of crime.